Okay guys, when the whole Splatoon hype thing happened a few months ago, I admit I was definitely on top of it, but now that we have a little bit more development in terms of Splatoon and how the gameplay is going to operate, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm not saying this to demean the title in any way, I'm not saying this to kill the hype in any way, but I, won I, I wonder about it. I, I worry about this title because I'm concerned if it's going to have that longevity that most shooters tend to not have. It's Nintendo, I know. Nintendo usually makes their games extremely polished. I acknowledge this. Yeah, I'm building lines those police officers, but um, I, I acknowledge Nintendo knows how to make a really polished title, but it's still a third-person shooter at the end of the day. Will Splatoon have that longevity? Will it have that replay value? Will it have that addictiveness that a lot of shooters seem to lack these days? Titanfall is a little bit different because it was a first-person shooter, but I, Titanfall was kind of like a really sad story because it came out, had great gameplay, awesome mechanics, really cool, innovative, you know, Titan mech system, but the game didn't last. The longevity pretty much died within a month, and that's being generous. Either way, guys, um, we do have this article linked by Toscar. Shout out to you, link will be in the description. But um, Toscar sent me this article by Nintendo Everything talking about Splatoon and the file size of it on the game disc for the Wii U, or the download. Um, let's check out this article right now. You can pretty much read it right there. But um, So anyways, according to Nintendo Everything, Splatoon's file size, it's not that big of a game, especially compared to some other retail titles for the Wii U. Nintendo's website says that the game is just 1,812 megabytes. Splatoon launches on May 29th and it will be available both physically and digitally. Why the hell is this game, which is for a next-gen console, <laughs> or, I mean, you know, arguably, I mean, that, that's debatable. <laughs> but, um, why the hell is this game only 1.8 gigabytes? If this is a full-fledged title, should I be concerned here? We, we learned recently of how Xenoblade Chronicles X was a massive goddamn game coming in at around what? What was it? Like, um, I, I don't, I think it was like something somewhere around 5 to 10 gigs, if not bigger than that. I mean, don't get my numbers quoted there. I'm, I'm not exactly working with um, direct sources right now, but I mean, this just seems extremely small for a game that's coming out on the Wii U. I don't, I don't like that. To be honest with you guys, I feel like, you know, the breadth of a game, like the breadth of a game, in terms of how large it is, like the girth in terms of how big it is on the memory card and whatnot, should be large if this game has a lot of content in it. I don't know, or maybe I'm just reading into it too much, but at this point now, I'm a little concerned, because we did get a whole lot of gameplay of the game, but we didn't really get much else. In terms of, you know, story development and whatnot, we do know that there are the, um, the Octolings, if that's what they're called, which is like an enemy faction, and that's going to kind of work into a single player campaign. But it seems like the focus of this game is definitely going to be online, multiplayer, third-person shooter, in-your-face action. And I worry about the longevity of that. I just do. You have customizable characters, but it seems like you don't have that many hairstyles. There's only one style of guy, one style of girl, and they have the same hair all the time. You can't change that. You can just put different hats on, different clothes on. Should I be concerned here? I'm not trying to cut the game down in any ways, and I'm sorry if it makes it seem as if I'm being negative towards the game, but should I be concerned about the longevity of it? I think this is going to be a great title, but will it be a long-lasting title? That's the question. I want to hear what your comments are. Let me know what you think about my opinion on this whole thing. Do you share it? Do you debate it? I definitely want to know because I feel as if this game has a lot to, you know, it has a lot to live up to thanks to all that hype that Nintendo gave out there. I mean, for God's sakes, they invited Playboy magazine out to try the game. So, I mean, considering all of those factors, I'm, I, I think I'm rightfully concerned. But seeing a size of one gig, one, 1 1.8 gigs, I mean, come on, Smash Brothers for 3DS. It was a large game. It was almost a gig in size itself. I mean, well, maybe, well, almost, practically, so... Hey, I don't know, man. Either way, let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.